Hello, my name is Arif Keichi bin Ahmad Zaki Akira. Matrix number 19139-2542 from RY41. In this video, I will explain and demonstrate uh, on lab 1 operational amplifier from PGT213 electrical uh, sorry electronic analog circuit 2. Okay, for the inverting amplifier, the input signal is connected to the input polarity of the OPM. See, the input is here and the output is located here. So when we run the simulation, We can get that the input signal is the green color and the output is your blue so to track it I'm going to show is here so we can see that the input is written in the below here which is neg negative 1.9 8.68 volt for the input since the input is 1 volt uh, for VP, uh, volt peak. So it's total of 2 volt peak to peak and 1 kilohertz of frequency. So from here, the output, we get that. We get that. C1, C1. We get that. The output is probably around negative 9.3487 for the 4.7 kilo ohm of RF. So in the lab sheet, uh, from the theoretical calculation, we can get that the gain is the formula is negative RF over R1. So 4.7K divided by 1K, we can get 4 point, negative 4.7K. The V out taken the gain times with the input value. So we can get negative 9.4. So from the experiment, we get almost a similar result, which means it's correct. Now we proceed with, what if we proceed, uh, we change the RF value to the RF value to 10k so by stop the simulation and then we change the value here to 10k then we start the simulation again we can see that the output value have increased or change so from now we can see that the output is become negative 19 we supported with this calculation the theoretical calculation we is expected to get negative 20 volt and as parameter we get negative 19.932 volt so this is the wave waveform so let's try again with different RF value so we're going to increase the value to 33 kilo ohm Now that we already increased the value, so we expect it to become much bigger than previous. So the oops, the output now we can get is negative twenty six point zero one zero or zero zero nine around that value, but from the calculation. We got the gain is negative 33 and the V out is negative 66. 
which is not the same to the experimental result. This is because uh, the waveform is has been clipped. The reason why it's been clipped because the input uh, the input times with the gain of the OPM is greater than the DC supply, which is here. So this DC supply, 15 volt positive and 15 volt negative, is determined whether how much the the gain can be changed. Okay, now continue to the non-inverting amplifier. The non-inverting amplifier, the signal, in, the input signal is connected to the input polarity of the OPM. So, it start with 4.7 kilo ohm, and the output graph waveform will result in this. You can see that the output is in phase with the input, the output and the input. So let's check the output result, which is here. So our output, we get negative 11.342. So from the calculation for the non-inverting is the gain is equals to one plus RF over R1. So from the calculation, we get 5.7 of the gain. For V out is gain times with input voltage. So 5.7 times 2 is 11.4 volt. So from the calculation and the experimental result, we get a, an almost similar uh, output, output voltage. Now we continue to, diff we try to change the RF value. We change it to 10 kilo ohm. Now we have changed it already. The output voltage is increased to increase to Twenty one point eight six four. Okay, it's shown here. Say okay for the gain, the calculation, theoretical calculation, if the gain is eleven, the VR is twenty two. The waveform we get from the experiment is twenty one point eight six four. So this is the value that I get from the experiment just now. So is almost similar to 22 so we can accept this so next we change to the RF is equal to 33 33 kilo ohm there we go now that we already increase you can see there's a clip in the waveform so the output is 26.010 so the reason why it's clipped is similar with the inverting the inverting amplifier since it's already exceed the input DC supply. So what does it mean for this question? What does it mean, does not inverting mean if a sine wave is connected to a operational amplifier, which means the output gain of the amplifier become positive. So the output signal is in phase with the input. Now for this discussion and the conclusion. So based on the result that I have obtained, for the inverting OPM, 
the result for 4.7k and 10k re resistant is almost identical to the the theoretical calculation but the 33k resistant is different due to the exit of the dc supply of the opm which result it being clipped so for the 33k ohm resistant is shown in the calculation is the ideal op uh, the ideal op OPM. Another thing to note that the output waveform is inverted 180 degrees from the input due to the signal, the input signal connection. For the in for the non-inverting op OPM, it's almost similar. The 4.7 and 10 kilo ohm resistance is similar to the theoretical calculation. Also, the 33k resistance also result in the waveform to be clipped. The output waveform for the non-inverting OPM is in phase with the input waveform. So finally, at the end of the experiment, I have learned to demonstrate the inverting and non-inverting operational amplifier circuit using the multi-SIM online software. I am also able to calculate the OPM voltage follower, which also means other name is uh, voltage gain, which is shown in this experiment. Finally, I am able to understand this, the subject of the operational amplifier. Thank you.